and we do want to uh, tell you about a new segment that we're starting and here at 13 WMAZ our team meteorologist is always working to tell you about the forecast here in central Georgia but sometimes it takes more than just telling you about the forecast a lot of you ask us questions about how weather works and our 13 WMAZ meteorologist Taylor Stephenson is going to tackle that every week starting this week with the question of why is the sky blue I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson here to explain to you how your weather works. Starting with the age old question, why is the sky blue? Let's take it back to elementary school when we used to play with glass prisms. The prisms reflected the light that shined on them. Usually the light bounced back in the form of a rainbow. The molecules in the sky act the same way with light from the sun during the day, except that some of the light is absorbed in those particles. The main color that is not absorbed in the air molecules is the blue wavelength due to the sun's angle overhead. The blue bounces back and hits our eye. In the weather world, we call this Rayleigh scattering. Rayleigh scattering is most efficient for short wavelengths, which include the colors blue, indigo, and violet. That is why when you look up and observe our beautiful earth, the sky is blue. The reason that sunrises and sunsets are more red and orange is because those colors have longer wavelengths. That means that reds and oranges are more easily reflected back to your eye when the sun is at a lower angle in the sky. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson and that's how your weather works. I love that, that's so much fun. Thank you so much, Taylor. And if you do have any questions on weather phenomena and why they work, be sure to email us at news at 13wmaz.com or leave your question on the comment on the WeatherWorks story on our Facebook page. We'll be right back.